Hi, this is Donny Miss 333. My brother and sister, today I'm going to talk about Orion and Pallades constellation. Uh, I'd like to first recommend uh, this uh, video by Brenda Welter. Uh, she does a deep dive on the origin of Halloween. It's a very good video. Um, also, she referenced this video by uh, After School. Uh, mysterious origin of Halloween, Randall Carlson. So, if you want to uh, do a deep dive on Halloween, this is these are the two videos I would recommend. So, my brothers and sisters. So, let's start off. This is again more confirmation that we are most likely going into rapture on um, October thirty first. Now, this is what we have in scriptures. This is uh, I'm just going to read these out. Uh, Job nine seven to nine. He commands the sun, and it does not rise. He seals off the stars. He alone spreads out the heavens and treads on the waves of the sea. He made the bear, Orion, and the Pleiades, and the chambers of the south. So the Lord made these. They're all from the Lord Jesus Christ. He created all these as signs for us. Can you, this is Job 38, 31, 32. Can you bind the cluster? Of the Pallades or loose the belt of Orion? Can you bring out Mazaroth in its season? Uh, can we do this? No, mine cannot do that. Mine can, cannot do this. The star constellation of Orion and Pallades is mentioned in the scriptures. These are signs in the heavens that reveal what the Lord is doing on earth. It just so happens, this is what I, I, I didn't know this before now. The position of Pallades at midnight on Halloween on Thursday 31st, October 2024, is the same position it was when the flood took place. The star sign of the Pallades on Thursday 31st, October 2024, is a warning to the world that the rapture is about to take place and judgment is about to fall on earth. Now, Different cultures around the world commemorate the day of the flood with festivals and rituals over three days. This is from October 31st to November 2. It just so happens that this year, the Feast of Tabernacles starts on October 31 to November 7. I do not believe this is a coincidence. My brothers and sisters, we should expect the rapture to occur on Thursday 31st uh, October 2024 on the first day of tabernacles which is also Halloween. The end of the year or the last day of the year must end with the resurrection of the saints on tabernacles and the resurrection of the damned on Halloween which is on the same day on Thursday 31st October 2024. Now this is the Bit of a mystery. What is this resurrection of the damned? We'll, 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 we'll focus on that in a few minutes. You shall keep the feast of ingathering at the end of the year. That's Thursday, 31st October 2024, when you're gathering from the field the fruit of your labor. Now, this is what the Lord said. Now, this is, the, this is where the resurrection of the damned com, uh, comes in. Now, this is now... We can now understand why there are so many movies about zombies, so many movies about, um, you know, all these, you know, zombie movies. But it's much more sinister than that. And this is where it is. Even the Lord mentioned it. Now, this is what, he's, this is what we read here. I'm going to read this, Matthew 7, and then we'll read uh, John 5. Many will say to me on, on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name and drive out demons in your name and perform many miracles in your name then i will tell them plainly i never knew you depart from me you evil doers this is the key word here depart from me evil doers now check this out this is john 5 25 28 and 29 very verily i say unto you the hour is coming, I believe it's this day, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. 
marvel not at this, for the hour is coming in which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. My brothers and sisters, this is tabernacles and Halloween on the same day. I don't think people understand. Why would the Lord, why would this happen? Why would he resurrect damned on the day that this happens? This is why this verse here. I've mentioned this before in one of my videos. and I don't think uh, um, many Christians really uh, understand. The word of God is very, very powerful. Hmm? The word of God is very powerful. It's the word of God. And because of it, the evil people can use it. Hmm? At the same time as those who are good. Now, what people don't know is that when people who know the word, they have the red, they're not saved, but they have they are evildoers. They they're not saved, they have the word, and then they die. Now people are saying, Oh, yeah, when you die, people die, they go to hell. That's not what happens. They go into the world of spirits because they have the word that are able to why did see when the Bible talks about angels. Uh, fight uh, the devil and his angels fighting. Those angels are people that have lived. They've got the word. And they use the word for sorcery. They use the word for witchcraft. These are the people that are going to resurrect. That's what it's called the resurrection of the damned. See, the word can't be extracted from them straight away. So they have to do evil things, and then they descend into the hells as judgment. But it doesn't happen straight away. This is the mystery that people don't know. So this is the origin of the lying signs and wonders. This is the origin of doctrines of demons. These demons are people. You see, look at this word here. They that have done good. This doing good here is the is the uh, fruits of righteousness. This is when I talk about the fruits of righteousness that we have to uh, store up in ourselves. Uh, fruits of righteousness, first works. All this comes from knowing the Lord Jesus Christ, believing in the Lord Jesus Christ, receiving the Holy Spirit, having the love of God in our hearts, from the love of God, practicing righteousness. Practicing righteousness is separate from public ministry. People need to understand that. Practicing righteousness is keeping the commandments. But yet, in the church, we have people that don't believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. They think he's an ordinary man, but they've read the word. They've allowed, they've been climbing up in the church ranks. Many are priests, many are bishops, but they don't believe in Jesus. And people presume, oh, when these people die, they're going to go straight to hell. That's not what happens. So when the rapture takes place, many of these people are going to be in the world of spirits. They're going to hear the voice of God too. And when they hear, they're going to rise. They're going to join the Antichrist. They, they're the reason why there's going to be lying signs and wonders after the rapture. These people, they will come. They will claim to be from God. They'll be able to do miracles because they left the world with the word. Because when people read this, they thought, oh, this must be, this must happen after a thousand, uh, after a thousand. No, this is going to happen on the very same day. We have received our glorified bodies, we go up in glory. These people, they are on earth. The resurrection of the damned. No wonder we have all these, uh, all these movies about uh, the souls of the damned, uh, zombie movies. They're not going to appear like zombies. Most of them are going to appear like Angels, angels, uh, angels of light. So, my brothers and sisters, it's looking very likely that we are going on the first day of tabernacles, which is the correct last day of this age, but also Halloween. My brothers and sisters, 
So I just wanted to make this a uh, short video. I don't, want it, I don't want it to be too long. That be prepared. I mean, the world has been conditioned for Halloween. They've been conditioned to expect strange things to happen. So, my brothers and sisters, um, look at what one brother left a comment. I'm going to try and see if I can find it. Um, is it this one? Or where is it now? Where did I put it? Oh, I see. Here it is. He left this comment. Um, I had a dream where I was at a, bas a baseball game and I went up during the game. Uh, a flood was overtaking the stadium. Some have had dreams of rapture on a Thursday and a nuke or asteroid hitting during Halloween. Or oh, uh, hello, Eve. So when the USA time Thursday in Europe World Series, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure about this. Uh, well, I don't know what this is a baseball game, basketball. I'm not sure what this is, but um, those in the states would be able to tell me. But the games that he has, I presume he has tickets for from the 25th to um, 25th of uh, October to the first. That's when these games are being played. So. He's saying that the rapture took place during this period of time. It's most likely going to be on Halloween on the 31st of October. So, my brothers and sisters, these are exciting times. Today is the correct day of atonement, mm, my brothers and sisters. So, here we are. And um, most people already know that uh, Israel has already uh, hit uh, Iran. So there, there could be repercussions from that. It could, it could come from Russia. So everything is going red hot as we approach the first day of tabernacles, which is the last day. The correct last day is also Halloween. So my brothers and sisters, it's time to be very excited. This could be our last, our last week on, on, on earth. Be ready. Because the deception is going to be intense. This is the reason why a lot of people think, oh, I can just leave letters and people will just read them and get saved. That's not what's going to happen. It's going to be very difficult for people to get saved once we are gone. Because there's, the deception is going to be massive. My brothers and sisters, short of uh, appearing to your loved ones and let them see you and you speak to them and let them know that what's happened, it's going to be very difficult for them to be convinced that the rapture took place because they're going to be those souls who have the power to deceive. They're going to resurrect too. They're going to be out there deceiving. They're going to be behind the Antichrist. And this is right here. We see in the world. We just not didn't understand it. That the resurrection of the damned, that is why there is Halloween. My brothers and sisters. So it's already... It's already built into the word. We just didn't understand it before now. The resurrection of the saints, resurrection of the damned. Why is that why is that they're able to rise? Because they have the word. They, they have the word. They left the world with the word. This is why it's important people understand that they have to do good. You have to uh, fill yourself with the word, not only uh, by speaking it, but by living it. That's why it says. They that have done good. This is the tabernacles, my brothers and sisters. But those that do evil, they're also, if they've not been judged, they're also going to resurrect and they're also going to be here to deceive uh, the world, those who, get, who are left behind. So my brothers and sisters, this was a quick word. I pray that we are leaving by the grace of God in a few days from now. I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.